What's going on YouTube? K Rob here, back with another Blue Lock manga reading, chapter 241. In the last chapter, we saw the new rankings. We saw that Kaiser declined his offer to Saitoshi's team. And it's been his goal to try to get off Bastion Munich, but it's the fact that Isagi beat him in the bet. Y'all been telling me like we haven't seen him sweat yet. I'm guaranteeing you guys this next game, we're gonna see a, a drop of sweat off Kaiser, not gonna lie. And also, Rin is now number one because of the hat trick. So I'm very, very curious to see how this plays out especially between these three and on top of that bro we're gonna see like a lot of a lot of rivalry matchups bro kunigami shido all, like every bro it's gonna be an insane match so thank y'all so much for tagging along with me through this journey i highly appreciate every single one of y'all thank y'all so much for all the love y'all been showing on this series and the channel too bro and without further ado let's jump into the reading all right y'all chapter 241 taquan and nato all right, so we got match seven spain versus pxg Matches 7 and 8 of the Neo Egoist League matchup are now set. Although Bastion Munich is sitting this round of matches out, Sparks fly as the Egoist from the remaining 4 teams clash against one another. Oh, so we get to see the other matches? Wait, what? Match 8 England versus Italy? Germany Stratum training field. Looks like we're the ones sitting out for this round. While the other teams battle each other, we use the time to train and level up. Our final match is against PXG. After that, the Neo Egoist League will end. The match against PXG is our last chance to show our worth. <laughs> Why is my value lower than Hiori's? I'm not pissed at all though. Despite what you're saying, you look oddly satisfied with yourself. Dude can't hide the fact that he's super hyped that he got an offer. <laughs> but seriously Hiori-kun, your assistant Isagi-kun was absolutely sick. Did something happen? Kinda. I finally bought into the blue lock mentality. I want to produce the world's strongest striker. I want to play football alongside players who can understand my passes. Ever since I got this mentality, I'll discard any player who is too stupid to understand my passes. Y'all got that? Damn, okay, wait, dang, Yori, hold on, bro. Wow, how scary. Just now you sounded like Itoshi Sai. I know, right? Despite that cool persona, deep down, this guy's an ultra sadist. Ultra sadist, ultra sadist. Huh, you're gonna be playing as a playmaker now. Guess that means you're dead as a striker. Whatever, you guys. At least I'm not getting roasted over social media like Isagi-kun. Roasted? Huh? Why? Here's some comments from our match against Ubers. Isagi Yoichi is the future of Bastard Munich. Bastard's best future frontline is an Isagi Yoichi and Michael Kaiser two-top tandem, even though they're still immature and constantly fighting and getting in each other's way. If those two manage to understand and sync up with each other, they can potentially become the most lethal striker duo in the world. Yeah, and that's exactly what I was saying too, bro. Like in the last chapter, I was saying like, imagine if these two end up syncing together and like working together in order to beat PXG. It's going to be insane. It's going to be huge, bro. I don't know how they're going to play it, but in some way, shape or form, bro, if they work together, this game is going to be a game, bro. Like it's going to be one of those games that like a breakout. It's going to, I feel like for both Michael Kaiser and Isagi, it's going to be a really huge breakout game, bro. No way. Absolutely no fucking way. <laughs> this man, he's sucking. <laughs> they got a point. You two are so buddy-buddy with each other. Shut up, Raichi. No way in hell is that happening. That's so disgusting. I'd rather die than team up with that piece of shit. Come on, don't be like that. Kai Sagi is the trendiest blue lock topic right now. <laughs> Kai Sagi? Oh my goodness. You want to hear more? The Neo Egoist League's best couple. Oh, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Not, not them shipping Kaiser and Isagi, bro. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> Shut up, Yori. Cut it out, you stupid ultra sadist bastard. You hate it that much? Nah, it's like that, right? Where he pretends he hates it, but secretly is totally into it? See ya. See ya. I'm going to do some individual training, so see ya, guys. Okay. He's got a point. I still need to level up and move up in the rankings. True. My auction value isn't at a level where I can kick back and relax. If we don't finish in the top 23, all our hard work would have been for nothing. See ya, Isagi. Yeah, see ya. That's right. Just one more match. All of us have our own goals and objectives. Hey, Isagi, you got a sec? Uh, sure, Igaguri. What's up? Well, I mean, you know, well, I haven't played in a match, right? My value is still zero, right? What do I need to do to survive? I'm not gonna lie, Igaguri. 
There, there has been so many times, bro. Like, I'm so surprised Igaguri is still here. I'm not gonna lie. I, I am very, very, very surprised. There has to be a reason why Igaguri is sticking around. They, like, he must be. He must soon have a breakout match, bro. There must be a match coming soon. Like, I'll even say this next match, bro. He might be doing something crazy this next match. Who knows? Huh? I mean, if I can't play in the next game, then I'm finished, right? Even though I'm trying my best, I can't catch up to the rest of you guys. I know I gotta force my way into the lineup, but everyone keeps getting bigger and bigger offers. So, do you have any advice for me? I'm begging you. I need some advice from the great Isagi Yoichi-sama. <laughs> Look at Isagi. <laughs> Sorry, man, I got nothing. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I got nothing is the best you can come up with? Come on, bro. Think. God damn it. Think. Cut it out. I'm thinking. But I have nothing concrete to give you. That's why I told you I have nothing. Hey, Igaguri. What is your reason for playing football again? To get out of taking over my family's temple. I mean, but that kind of reason, compared to you and the other guys aiming to be the best player in the world, my reason for playing football is inferior. Maybe I need to change my target to becoming the world's best player. Isn't your reason enough? Huh? Me? Everyone else? Heck, probably most people can only focus on and pursue achievable realistic short-term goals. Achievable realistic short-term goals? Yeah, you can't compare your goals with other people's. Pursuing your goals to the fullest? That's the foundation of our ego, an ego that is unique only to you. I know for a fact a lot of you guys do this right here. And I'm, I'm gonna say this too, bro. I do it sometimes too as well. I feel like a lot of people do this. How many guys truly, like, especially with you editors, bro, how many of you guys look at other people's edits and try to like compare your edits to their edits, bro? And it's like, that's the wrong way to go about it, bro. Like you really have to understand that a lot of people are on their own path and on their own journey. They might, they might know more than you. They might have more experience than you. They might have better equipment than you, whatever, bro. But it's the fact that you have to understand that you yourself are on your own path. You are on your own journey. And you have to, you have to enjoy that, bro. You have to find the purpose, bro. Pursue it. Look, like Isagi said, bro, pursuing your goals to the fullest, bro. That's the foundation of our ego and ego that is unique only to you. Understand, bro. No one is, no one is doing what you're doing, bro. You are doing it because that is your goal. It's your goal. It's what you're pursuing. You're pursuing something and this is your journey. This is your own story. You know what I'm saying? So enjoy it, bro. Figure out what you want to do and pursue that, bro. Pursue it in your own shape and form, bro. Don't look at somebody else's work and compare your work to theirs, bro. Like, that's not it, bro. That's not how you go about it. I am I, I am guilty of doing this as well, bro. I'm not just gonna, I'm not gonna preach this and say like, oh, I don't do it. But like, no, bro, I'm also human, bro. We're, we're all human beings. We all make mistakes and we all like, you know, we all kind of like, our, our brains kind of like shift to somewhere else, you feel me? So it's good to practice enjoying the path enjoying the story that we're forming and we're making for ourselves and, and just pursue our goal bro pursue this without comparing our work to somebody else's not wanting to take over your family's temple that's one heck of an ego you got igaguri don't lose hold of it if you're saying that i kind of i know what i want to do now uh but i haven't told you about my suggestions regarding trading and stuff though no i'm good i'll think about what type of training works for me thanks isagi namusan to be honest, when we met before that survival game of tag, I never thought you would become a player worth 100 million. You're amazing, Isagi. I admit it. You're freaking amazing. Oh, that wait, this is a sick whoa, this is a sick panel of Igaguri though. I think this is like the sickest panel of Igaguri I've seen. What are you all of a sudden? I know because we started at the bottom too, Mr. 300th and Mr. 999th. I hate to admit it. You're definitely on the path to becoming the best player in the world. For old time's sake, you want some of my taquan? <laughs> no way. Unless you want to trade that for my natto. <laughs> I'll pass. Ah, uh, that, that's a that's a wholesome moment right there, bro. I don't know if y'all even do y'all even remember that like that moment when they when they were trading they were trading foods and stuff like that. That's like that's a wholesome moment, bro. Uh oh, is this that's Kaiser? Uh oh. Came to the Neo Eagles League to surpass Noel Noah. Bastion Munich's first team is a squad designed to maximize Noel's strengths. With Noah crowned as the world's strongest forward, the chances of me stealing his spot as the Bastard's ace striker was 100% impossible. That's why I wanted to use this league to secure a bigger offer from another club and force my way out of Bastard Munich. My plan to become the best player in the world, I achieved step one of my plan, but there's no way in hell I can go home 
after losing to him. Oh, Steph. Yeah, I know you can do it, Kaiser. Ever since that day, ever since that moment, as I wallowed in that familiar sense of despair, you showed up and taught me that there was no such thing as impossible. The ray of hope amidst all the darkness, Kaiser's and Ness's first interaction, a flashback to the beginning of their partnership. Oh snap, next chapter we're gonna get some backstory. Oh wait, I'm actually, I'm actually down for this. I'm actually down for a Kaiser and Ness backstory. Maybe we can understand Kaiser and Ness a little bit more and like their dynamic and like why Ness always glazed in Kaiser. Maybe maybe I can give Ness a, a little bit more slack, bro. You know what I'm saying? But wait, it's part one, two. Oh, so we're going to get like multiple parts of this story? Oh, wait a minute. This might be some peak right here, bro. I'm excited for this. I, I, I'm genuinely excited for this. Bro. Okay, bro. Like very wholesome chapter. I'm not going to lie, bro. We, we got a little bit look of uh, Igaguri and uh, hopefully, bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. I don't have a problem with Igaguri. I just... I just think that the I just think that Igaguri has been on the back burner a little bit, and I kind of want to see what Igaguri got for real. You know what I'm saying? Cause he's been watching a lot. You feel me? He's been watching a lot. He's been on the sidelines, and I, I'm pretty sure, bro, he's got some type of like, you know what I'm saying? He's got some type of knowledge of the game now, so he can like actually go out there and train and and, and surprise us for real. I want to see what Igaguri really got, especially like, bro, they kept him around for this long, right? He has to be some type of there. There has to be some type of reason for it. So. I feel like we're gonna get some action from Igaguri soon, and I can't wait to see that, to be honest. I also can't wait to see the backstory of Kaiser and Ness, because I feel like that's like also a backstory that I really wanna understand too. And knowing Blue Lock, they're really good with giving these characters good backstories, so we're gonna feel, we're, we're obviously gonna feel some type of way about Ness and Kaiser now. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, me personally, y'all, I do not like Ness, but this backstory, could change my view of Ness. I'm not gonna lie, bro. If it's a sad backstory, I'm a sucker for it, bro. I I, I really love the backstories, bro. Especially in, like in movies, story books, like that's that's just me, bro. That's me as a person, bro. If y'all did enjoy the chapter, please let me know in the comment section down below what y'all thought about the chapter. Give me your theories, all that, bro. I love to hear them. Um, thank y'all so much for all the love and support y'all been showing me on this channel and on this series. Uh, also, bro, uh, this may be the last video of the week because I will be out of town tomorrow and I won't be back until Saturday. So, um, yeah, this this right here, I'm, I'm going to miss a Jujutsu Kaisen episode for sure. Uh, there won't be any underrated anime editor videos this week. I'm, I highly apologize for that. I just, I won't be home to even record anything. So, um, next week though, we're back on full effect and we're gonna, we're back on the, you know, we're back on the schedule for real. So thank y'all so much for watching. If y'all did enjoy the video, please do like, share, and subscribe, bro. Stay cheerful, stay motivated, and stay blessed. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace.